Welcome to Left Wing Laughs. Today we will have a look at if Zelensky has bought some super yachts and some new information has come out. Now, these three blokes right here and this person, uh, Mr. Nazir, he's come out with some information that has linked the two gentlemen on the left and right that have bought a super yacht. Really. The guy in the middle, Mr. Moneybags, we all know him. The guy on the left, Sergey and Boris, left and right, they both bought a $50 million yacht and $75 million. Very now, the first guy, Boris, they're two, both brothers also, but lucky me for $25 million. So, huge amount of money. The brother here is Sergey. My legacy bought for $50 million on October 25th. Let's have a look at this super yacht to get a context. Yeah, looks very nice. Wicked, unbelievable. There's beautiful music playing in the background, like, like luxury going. I'll leave it in the description. So this is the yacht. It has its own YouTube video. Why not? I guess at $50 million, you need your own video. Looks amazing. I don't think you'd ever need to really live any. If this could be your home for the rest of your life, that'd be, yeah, super amazing. Inside, it's not going to be a dump, that's for sure. Let's have a look. Okay, there's a power outlet. I love that. has a power outlet. That's nice. Nice touch. Looks very nice. Bedrooms. Okay, let's see the deck. Yeah, it looks wicked. Beautiful. Big money. Love it. I think this is 50 meters. So about 150 feet, something like that. Let's uh, let's go back to the, the gentleman. Okay, very nice purchase. I think a lot of people would do that if they could. So those are the two guys that have bought something recently. Now, all up here because money. Where does that kind of money come from? $75 million. They're in a war. I don't know. What's going on? And now how we're going to relate how, what jobs those three guys have, what corporation they have. And there's a Pandora box of a linkage between them. So it's really the $100 billion. How much money of that you think might have been used to buy that? And that's really hard to say, but at least there's documents to show that those two guys bought something. Now, well, the first guy, Sergey. He is a presidential advisor, so he's not a VP, he's just an advisor, and is also a film producer, and you might remember him from the first eight dates. You see that bloke in the bottom there lying down? Look at that, that's Zelensky. So uh, yeah, they are director, actor. Now, Sergei on the right, Zelensky on the left. This is after he won the election. So he is already an advisor at this time with Zelensky. So he was, Zelensky hired his director to be his uh, advisor. Now, how much does this advisor make? Do you think it makes like 10 million a year? Nope, Zippo, unpaid. So he doesn't make any money. Hmm. Well, that's sort of not a good sign because how do you have $50 million to buy a boat, a yacht? And you don't make any money. So where does this all money? These two guys are very close to each other. Boris and Zelensky. How are they related? You might remember from like servant of the people. And look at that guy right there. Zelensky is again. So Boris is a director for this movie. Movie of no idea what that is. Yeah. So Zelensky is the small little timid guy, and there's the blonde or redhead. Yeah, so he does a lot of movies. So all these movies are produced by that guy Boris. So he bought that. Uh, so he hired his boss. That's how they're all related. So Boris, Sergey, and uh, Zelensky are all related. I don't know why Zelensky is a producer too. So I guess they're all producers in these. Uh, these three guys are related. So the guy on the left, Sergey, is actually an advisor to Zelensky now and they're all producers in the same movie the pandora box how these guys are all linked together okay the pandora box if you don't recall it was a global team of 600 journalists exposing the world of offshore banking revealing how the wealthy hide their assets and avoid taxes through a network of legal entities it's all legal but this is the loophole one loophole that they but they don't 
So it implicates over 300 politicians, 14 city ones, and it unveils a surge of offshore banking within the United States, despite previous revelations like the Panama Papers, the wealthy are continue to find ways to shield their wealth and avoid scrutiny and probably taxes at that point too. So that relates them to, that's how these three guys related to them. So there's another article. But in that document of the Panama Papers, it linked those three guys, so Zadalski, that did not disclose that he owns a uh, offshore account of Multex Multicap Corporation in the British Virgin Islands. So those three guys are all own 25% each of this company. Company here, I don't know, Yugos, uh, Yugoslavian, not Yugoslavian, Ukrainian. So there you go. So the four guys on the top, there's the fourth guy right there, uh, Ari. So that's the fourth. They all own 25%. So Really, what the linkage here, and you can see the four at the top on the 25, 25, 25, it goes to the bank guy down there, and then it gets over to the multi, multi text. People on the right are somewhat related there. I don't know who they are. So, what happened? Like, where's the connection? Is that when before Zazelski became president, he trans quietly transferred his 25% to the other brother, Sergei. So that 25% he moved over. Now, how did, where is all this money coming from? And that's why they, because the proxy would be that Zelensky gives his 25% to Sergei in exchange that he buys the boat with the money that he might be getting from somewhere else that is not. That's really the linkage between these three, that that's where it might come from. The other point here, too, is that studio company that they have is worth $41 million. So that money, too, was also moved, some transferred to this private bank to accounts in Zazelski is 95. So that 25% of that would still be $10 million that Zazelski gave as a percent to him. So I think this highlights, too, that all foreign money leaving the United States that, you know, in the United States, it's already hard enough to find it where exactly to people but once it starts leaving and goes outside to other countries that the, the, the doesn't want to even say transparency it just dilutes it just goes poof and it all disappears you never really find it where it ends up so all of this needs a little bit more fine-tuning on here because it's you know the Zelensky given his 25 percent hiding money into a british virgin island account is all not cool and a lot of this there's no actually um there's no actually corruption crackdown so a lot of this zazelski won't allow any investigation into the money anyways so that's actually a huge red flag that he does not want to allow that so where the money comes from exactly is hard he's already deceived about where some of the money has gone when he started putting it into the offshore accounts, which is not not very good at all. And also, there was a time too when his wife, she got some money too, and they all went to Paris. Or she went to Paris to buy something. So there's a lot going on that's not very good, and the money hidden. Well, we'll see where that finally ends up. But uh, this is still good information finding out that those two guys bought it. Um, I don't even know during a war I've seen too in Kiev, downtown uh, Ukraine, the nightclubs partying, I think it's called Club 50 and all these ladies are dancing. There's no soldiers. And it, it's quite sad that, and I guess, how does a war, how do you handle it in a war too? Like, do you still go to nightclubs? And that's what they seem to do. And did you know the average age of a soldier in Ukraine? What is the average age of that? Well, it's uh, 43 so that's really the age right now that the soldiers are in. And the other part is how many people do you think have died? How many soldiers on both sides, really? And that number is 120,000 people that have died on there. Now, that's a huge number. And to have this war keep going on, they really should come to peace and stop doing that because that's an enormous amount of people. And 300,000 people have uh, injured in the war. So it's not really going that great here anyways. and. 
as far as my personal opinion, if the war is still going on, I don't, I think it, it is, is stopped. It's, it's not going to, it's, it's ended. I don't know why they keep going this on. I mean, I guess I do know they like the money flow coming in. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope this was informative for you and this new information that has come up that helps out a lot. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.